Shalom, shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the God of Israel, our power, Yahweh, in the name of his only begotten Son, and our Lord and Savior, Mashiach Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, the Rakai Kadash, double honor to our teachers there, the apostles, the elders of great millstone. And shalom to you, brothers out there on the highways and hedges, magnifying the name of the Lord through this ministry, push your videos out to edify the sheep. Right? And, um, Hey, shalom to you brothers out there and sisters that believe on the gospel, man, as well. But today I want to get into this article that I came across briefly, um, just not waking up. But uh, Lord already got his judgment going out. So um, it says Afghanistan earthquakes kill at least 26. This is by Robert Hart. Um, it was posted four hours ago from Forbes. And I'm going to read the full story. So it says at least 26 people at least 26 people have been killed and hundreds of homes damaged or destroyed after two earthquakes hit a remote region in western Afghanistan Monday according to local officials and multiple news reports a death toll that could increase as rescue teams continue their search for survivors so we'll go to key facts here it says the 4.9 and 5.3 magnitude earthquakes struck Afghanistan's northwest province of Bag Badgis Badgis. I can't pronounce that shit. Yeah, so it says uh, near the Turkmen border, according to the U.S. Geological Society. In total, 26 people were killed, and between 700 and 1,000 homes were damaged in the quakes. Though officials warned the death toll could climb as rescue teams combed through the debris. The quakes caused massive damage to the houses, said uh, Prov Provincial Spokesman Bas Mohammed Sarri. Uh, I think how you pronounce it. So, uh, yeah, there's a little bit more left on this, and I'm going to get a precept. The quakes are the latest in a string of disasters to hit uh, bad geese, one of Afghanistan's poorest regions, which still is reeling from years of conflict, the Taliban's takeover in August, and a free falling economy. Um, the remote region has suffered through years of drought, something uh, ex ex exact exact can't pronounce this shit by climate change and lacks an irrigation system leaving many struggling for food after international funds. It says aid supply network networks froze after the Taliban seized power. Earthquakes are not infrequent in Afghanistan, particularly in the Hindu Kush mountain range and poorly built homes and buildings are at risk of significant damage if one hits. More than 300 were killed after a powerful 7.5 earthquake struck in 2015. So uh, that's that's pretty much it on that article. And uh, this all just a, a part of prophecy. Okay, from the Holy Scriptures. Why did Israel have done this? Killed even 26 people. The Lord is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. In Deuteronomy 32 and 39. All right, I found the light. No, not that one. Uh, see, now that I even I am here and there is no God with me. I kill, I make alive, I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that, that can deliver out of my hand. Unto the, unto the Lord belong the issues from death. You know, the Heavenly Father is the one that bring him down to the grave and he bring him up. He gives life and he gives death. He make peace and create evil. As written in uh, Isaiah 45 and verse 7. So without further ado, I want to uh, get the precept that Yahweh Shah spoke about. Um, Luke 21 and 11, it says, and great earthquakes. All right, this according this prophecy. All right, he gave us a, a a list of the things that will be happening in the latter days that will indicate his second coming. And great earthquakes in diverse places is a part of them. And this been going on day after day after day. It's almost like every day now. It's been earthquakes. You know, multiple earthquakes throughout all the planet Earth. All right, the second return of the Messiah is near. All right. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines, and that's brewing as we speak, all right? 
and pestilences, meaning diseases, and fearful sights, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. Okay, let's grab. Let me grab this real quick, and um, <clears throat> grab this real quick in Second Edges, the ninth chapter. Um. And it says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou see as part of the signs past, which I have told you before, then you shall understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, see that, and uproars of the people in the world, then you shall well understand that the most high spake of those things, uh, speak of those things from the days that were before you. Even from the beginning, yeah, the most high declared it in from the beginning, man. He said, when you see part of those signs pass, you know, earthquakes in diverse places, we see these things. So it should click in our minds for us to understand that the most high is about to visit the earth, man. All right? We're seeing the earthquakes and uproars of the people, okay, in this world, man. For like it's all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. The end of all things is at hand, all right? And this is just a, a sign, man. This is just a sign. The end of all things is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent, Israel. Right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You got to repent and come back to your God, man. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So with that, Lord, will is edifying to next time. Shalom.